is steeped in history. It is the site of the Garden of Eden, of the Great Flood. It is the birthplace of Abraham. You tread... You tread lightly there. What's shaking, Warfighter Nation? Ron here with Warfighter Ranch and Isaiah 68. Today, we have a high-value target. And this one is a Ramadi Bro. His search and recognition care package should be reaching his LZ right about plus or minus 30 seconds. Our search and recognition missions recognize those who have shown great faith under extreme adversity, both during and after their time in uniform. These warfighters still continue to serve God through serving the warfighter nation. During our recent tribute to the warrant officer community, we offered 11 pieces representing warrant officers from different career fields, branches, and even different campaigns. But the caveat on that, you know, to piggyback, sorry, my inner NCO is trying to make a house to take over there. It happens. And when I mentioned the nine battalions of aviation calling Fort Campbell, Kentucky home at the time, I didn't mention the other aviators that reside at Fort Campbell. You know them. You love them. And I'm quite sure if Somalia hadn't happened, they would have much preferred that no one even know who they are. But here we are. Warfighter Nation, this search and recognition mission has a high value target and is arguably one of the most badass aviators in American aviation history. He's not only got some of the coolest toys in the Army inventory, but he also knows how to use them like no other. Whether he's sending the enemy straight to hell with hellfires, or saddling up with his steely-eyed six guns, troops in contact are grateful beyond reason when Greg and his killer egg shows up. He's the badass over Baghdad, he's the rage over Ramadi, and of course, he's the hero of Haditha Dam. Most known for having served in the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, SOAR, as a pilot, a pilot instructor, and a subject matter expert, Greg's actions at the Battle of Haditha Dam have become a thing of legend. Greg is a man of incredible faith. The historical record of his heroism, dedication, and quite literally serving as the sword of the Lord has been etched into the fabric of our nation through the many lives that were saved over the course of that multi-day battle and a career based on excellence in serving this great country and the warfighter nation. As the gunfire intensified during the final three-minute approach towards the battle, a swift tailwind provided by God Almighty himself helped Greg get his little bird and his skillful steely-eyed six guns to engage our enemies. Enemy! Enemy only! At close interval, dress right, die suckers! And protect those troops in contact. And that he did.
Greg, your faith and resilience under fire and against the demons we battle as warfighters both on and off the battlefield is certainly an example of what right looks like. May God bless you and your lovely wife, Miss Edie, and please accept these as our token of appreciation for your service to the nation. There's a little something in there for uh, Miss Edie as well, as well as one of our Jesus is my jump master key fobs. And I'll send you the story on that so you can share it with your grandbabies. And I think we put a Ramadi Bros decal on there too. We love you guys. We can't wait to meet you one day down there in Texas. This piece is tied in our signature Trinity Helix or Triax braid, the three strands representing the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This 275 paracord is gutted so the strength comes from its braid, just as we should drive our strength from the Trinity. shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. You will not fear the horrors of the night nor the arrow that flies by day. Psalm 91.5 Our signature infinity braid, also known as the fishtail braid, representing the infinite love of God, and the braid itself is a reminder of our true source of strength, inspired by John 3.16. shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. We do here, here, here is the art art of spiritual warfare. Full disclosure, I've never been hunting, but I've been really thinking hard about one of those Texas hog hunts. We'll see. God bless you all. See you on the other side. Do not get off on exit two two over. Six. This is Smoke Jumper 7.
Roger that. Next mission, time now.